And there is more promising news involving Georgia Tech. The school is developing a low-cost ventilator that will help COVID-19 patients that are in the most serious condition. It's already sending some of its samples to local hospitals. Here's 11 Alive's Doug Richards with more on this story. Because COVID-19 can attack the lungs and impair breathing, ventilators have become essential treatment tools. Georgia Tech has partnered with Cranfield University in England to develop a low-cost emergency ventilator, which engineers at Tech were testing last week. The developers of these ventilators say they are intended as stopgaps for use on patients waiting for fully equipped hospital ventilators that healthcare officials say are likely to be in short supply as the number of COVID-19 cases increase. Tech researcher Shannon Yee says the key is using inexpensive materials and old school analog design for the emergency ventilators. We have mechanical sliders which control the, the tidal volume which is delivered to the lung. And then we have a knob on the top that controls the respiratory rate, right? We kept it very simple, very analog, very old school so it can just uh, get out there quickly. Dr. Yee says Tech has sent prototypes of the new ventilators to Atlanta hospitals like Grady, Emory, and Children's Healthcare to get feedback on how they might work on patients. Now Yee says researchers are working to find a manufacturer that can get them built and distributed quickly in the next two weeks, he hopes, in time for the outbreak to reach its expected peak 